What's good, y'all? I'm about to make some Mexican rice because my little baby cousin asked me. So you know I got you. You know I got you. So we're going to start off with three cups of washed long grain rice. I'm using jasmine rice. I added my rice to some vegetable oil. And I'm using my oldest pan that I have. I suggest you use your oldest pan you have because that gives you the best fucking rice. I'm using like a half a cup of vegetable oil. You can always like drain it out afterwards. Um, the point is that you're frying your rice. So we're about midway through. We're just getting a little toast on the rice. Um, you can hear it. It sounds like more hard. I can't explain it. it sounds almost toasty. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and add a half an onion, chopped. I just noticed that my video had a little glare in it and my lens protector had a little crack in it, so I had to take it off. So could you see it better? My rice is nice and toasted. I'm gonna go ahead and drain all this extra oil. This is just personal preference. You can season your rice after you add the liquid, but I go ahead and season it while it's kind of frying. So I'm using chicken bouillon, and of course, some garlic salt. Not a lot, because chicken bouillon is kind of like salty, you feel me? I go ahead and mix that up, let that fry together. And also, that's kind of like the easy way, using chicken bouillon, the fast, easy way. But if you want some real authentic flavor, make your own chicken stock because it takes it to a whole nother level, okay? But I don't got time. I'm sorry. I ain't got time today. I'm going to add one can of tomato sauce, eight ounces. And I'm going to fill that can up with water. I'm going to add six additional cups of water to my rice. So that's seven cups total to three cups of rice, plus the tomato sauce. So pro tip that my aunt taught me is to let the water evaporate till it's like almost gone. There's still liquid, but there's not a lot. Then you cover it and let it simmer for about 20 minutes or so. And you will get the most perfect Spanish or Mexican rice ever. Look at this rice, y'all. It's literally perfect, okay? I already tried it, and it's perfection. It took me a lot of years to get to this point because, girl, when I started cooking, when I was like a teenager, my rice used to come out so bad. So, yeah, this is perfection, okay? So go ahead and make that shit.